shut it open, shut it open and shut it. How are you? Grade two, are you okay? I'm fine. So teacher non theta, welcome to Easy Elimo. Learning simplified fractions, fractions, fractions. We made the cutouts. And now our cutouts are here. Someone was asking me, teacher again, we're making other cutouts. I told you, I don't know what you're going to use the cutouts for. But now we now know what do we want to use the cutouts for. I have been told, this being our first cutout, look at this. This being our first cutout, it is here. Our cutout is here. First cutout is here. The second one we now told divide it into two equal parts. Are you following the steps? We are dividing the second cutout into two equal parts. Are we following it or you are just joking around here? and waiting for me to say go for break then they're saying after you have folded into two equal parts you make an imaginary line do you know what is an imaginary line a broken line a line that can be removed any time so they're saying the second part is make an imaginary line and I have done the imaginary line. Very good. Then the next step. After you've done the imaginary line into two equal parts, you now divide the, the circle again into other equal parts. Do you have something like this? Which shape is this? It looks like a samosa. That's a lie. This is not a samosa. This is a cone. This is a cone. So I have four equal parts i have four equal parts four equal parts then out of these four equal parts i have four equal parts now what happens after that I'm being told now the last part do it and shed color one of the part color one of the part and that is what I formed after coloring one of the part have you done that is everybody there this is the original whole circle then I divided it first into two equal parts then I divided again the two equal parts into other two equal parts, forming four equal parts. And now I decided to shed one of the equal, one of the four sides. And that is what I came out with. Have you done that? Yes, teacher. Very good. What have you formed? What have you formed? If you have done that, what have you formed? What size of the hole is colored? What size of the hole is this colored? The size of the hole is what we call. So the part that we have shaded here is what we call quarter. Look at the spelling. Q U A R T E R not that it has how many R? Two R. The word is quarter. And quarter is the same as one out of how many parts? One, two, three, four. One out of the four parts. Have you seen that? Now, have you now gotten the difference between a half and a quarter? Have you gotten the difference between a half and a quarter? Someone 
tells you share this bread into two equal parts. I have two equal parts here, like this. And someone tells you share the same same bread into four equal parts. Look at this. I have two equal parts and I have four equal parts. This is a half and this is a quarter. Who has the biggest share? Let's assume Oscar and John shared the bread into two equal parts. Into two equal parts. Janet and the friend shared the bread into four equal parts. Let's assume Janet has another friend together with Jen and Jen has also another friend. So there are four. And John and Oscar are here with their orange. So Janet have shared the orange with the four friends. And Oscar has shared the orange with the two friends. Who has gotten the biggest share? Who has the biggest share? Who has the biggest share? Tell me, when you look at these two, remember this is the part that Oscar will get. And this is the part that Jen will get. Who has the big share? Who has the big share? Look, 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 look nicely. Look nicely. Yes, Oscar. It is John and Oscar who has the biggest share. You can see by the look of things. This is what Janet will get after sharing with the four friends. And this is what John will get after sharing with Oscar. So John will have the bigger part. And Janet will have the smallest part. So between a quarter and a half, which one is big? Class, between a quarter and a half, which one is big? Someone tell me something. Between these two, which one is big? It is a half. A half is big. Why? Because they are only sharing with two people. And this one, same orange, same size, sharing with how many? Four people. So what do we say? This is what we call a fraction. This a half and this a quarter is what we call a fraction. Have you seen? Now, let me tell you something. This number that is up there on the fraction is called the numerator. The upper number on the fraction is called the numerator. And this number that is down, down from the word denominator. Denominator. Grade twos, are you getting it? Down, denominator. Up, numerator. Are we together? So the number that is up forms the numerator. The number that is down forms the denominator. So what are we saying here? The bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. We do it again. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. And what are we saying here? The smaller the denominator, the bigger the fraction. Opposite of big is small. So we are saying the smaller the denominator number, the bigger the fraction. So today we have learned two things. Numerator and denominator. And we have also learned half quarter. That is our vocabulary corner. We have also learned whole. And you have said, whole is a complete thing. This is a whole. When I share it out into two, it becomes half-half. When it goes into four, it's now a quarter. Any question up to there? Any question up to there? So if you're told among this, if you're told among this, show me the they have said, name these fractions. Name these fractions. Name these fractions very fast. Name these fractions. Name these fractions. Name these fractions. What are those? Which fractions are those? The first one, teacher, is a half. Very good. The first one is half. And half, symbol for half, one out of two. What about the second one? The second one is still half. And what is the symbol for half? One out of 
2. Now, can you tell me which fraction is the third fraction? Which fraction is the third fraction? Up to there. Any question? Any problem? Wow, I hope you enjoyed the lesson because I enjoyed the lesson too. It's a teacher announcer. I hope to see you in the next lesson.